Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the new episode of The Real Housewives of Dubai, Season 2, Episode 11. Let's get right into it. Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. Okay, so everybody's back from Bali. Back home to Dubai, so we see everyone kind of just settling back in and being with their families. But the first scene is Ayan and her husband. They go out to eat at some place, and she's talking to him about the trip. Her favorite part was when they went to that waterfall, and they had to, like, scream out all their frustrations. Overall, for her, it was a lot of fun. She also lets him know that she found out her age is anywhere from 45 to 50. And he is 49, so she could be a year older than him or younger. So we'll never know, but that's, you know, rough estimate. Then he asks if everything is okay with Lisa. Because remember, Lisa was being weird and called Ayan's husband that night, which I still think it's it's weird. I don't understand it. Ayan says, yeah, everything is fine, but she didn't like the way that Lisa was talking to her that night, which is why she cussed her out and kicked her out of the room. With Shamber, she says that she will keep trying to work it out with her. So then we also see Lisa and her husband. And wow, Lisa Milan is someone you don't want as a friend. She has such bad energy. She says to her husband that Ayan can't be friends with Stanberry. Stanberry is going to do her dirty. Like, damn, Lisa, do you want Ayan to not be friends with anyone except you? Like, what? And in case y'all missed it, last week, Sarah Almadani did an interview, right? Where she was saying that she saw Lisa trying to control and sort of manipulate Ayan the same way she also did towards Nina Ali in season one. And I thought that was really interesting of Sarah. And in that interview that I'm mentioning, Sarah also kind of said that she is now mad at Lisa for even sending the voice memo in the first place. Because if she really was confused, she could have asked her directly. But anyway, Caroline and Sergio also talked. Caroline feels bad because she doesn't want to be the cause of a problem between Ayan and Lisa. So she hopes that they can be okay. So, I mean, like, y'all see the difference between Lisa and Stanberry? Stanberry is literally make, want to make sure that Lisa and Ayan's friendship doesn't break because of her. Meanwhile, Lisa doesn't care about a, about Ayan's any of um, any other of Ayan's friendships but um Sam Mary's birthday is coming up so they kind of discussed that and Brooks invited them to a polo game which they're all going to be going so moving on Chanel Young goes to a meeting with a woman named Huda Katan who has her own makeup brand now this Huda lady had an amazing office so I'm sure that her business is very successful and how nice is it that you are helping someone else who is launching like a line in sort of the same field that you are in so Ayan was showing her some of her products and Huda is telling her that you know she needs to go and do more than just sell them online like go to retail and maybe even Sephora so Ayan's like oh yeah I would love that but, but we're not there yet and Huda says I can make a call if you want like today I could call to make sure that you get there Wow, that's amazing and then she kind of just gives her some advice on the business so this was definitely a lovely scene Moving forward, you guys, guess who's back? Nina. Nina Ali, who I loved, and I was so mad that she left the show, but I'm glad she's here, just making a little appearance. So she's at Sarah's house with Saba. Sarah then tells him that something had happened. So her nanny was turning off the cameras of the house and bringing in so many men into the house. And she's assuming that they were trying to get ready to take Sarah's son for ransom. That's crazy. She says that she fired her and when she when when the nanny was like packing up and leaving, the lady was packing things that belonged to Sarah. That's crazy. So she will be filing charges against her. Then Sarah tells him about a keen, you know, he we we learned last time that he was mad that Sarah was going to do a podcast with a guy who had pictures on his Instagram without a shirt. Now, Sarah was just going to talk on the podcast and the guy was obviously going to have a shirt, but Akeem is crazy. And Sarah even said to him, if you want me to do this, then I want to see you reciprocate it. Don't do some photo shoot. But Akeem did it anyway. Nina tells her that there's no ring on her finger, so he can't really ask anything. And she says that she truly has never seen it with him at all okay so then caroline stanberry invited lisa milan to go eat because she kind of wants to see where 
like what's going on because she felt like they were making progress but lisa then like stopped talking to her the last few days of the trip lisa says that she saw the same old stanberry at that dinner table when the whole voice memo thing happened stanberry says that she it was never her intention to do that lisa then brings up all the things from season one and that reunion which it seems like that happened 10 years ago but it's still bothering Lisa what Stanberry said. Lisa says that the biggest thing that bothered her was being called an escort and how that would affect her as a mother and a wife. Stanberry apologizes again for anything that she said that could be hurtful. Now, I will say, yes, that is hurtful, but it's not like Lisa didn't say anything and Stanberry just said that out of nowhere. In fact, Lisa tried to insinuate that Stanberry was friends with a certain someone you know who i'm talking about but they made up at this lunch and said that they really do like each other so we'll see how long this lasts so then it's time for the polo game brooks is friends with a very rich family that owns this polo club so talene took her husband now the last time he saw brooks was when they were all acting a fool in the street but everything seemed fine right now although brooks does want to talk to him but not today the outfits of the women were like the funniest thing. They all looked like they were going to different places. Ayan had the biggest hat. Caroline looked the mess. Like it was so funny. They watched the game and they asked Sarah about the nanny. And she says that the nanny was also sending messages to these men about Sarah's son. So she's in jail. That could have ended so bad. But I'm glad that she's in jail now. Then they go to do something about searching for gold in the field. And Stanberry talked about her confessional. How she, you know, she's gone to all these extravagant polo games in England. And she's even gone to one where the queen was at. And then a little later, Stanberry and Ayan talk a little bit. So Stanberry tells her about her meetup with Lisa and how they talk things out and they try to fix things. And Ayan says that makes her feel better for sure. And once again, Stanberry apologizes for bringing up the voice memo again. So we know Stanberry can apologize because she's been apologizing to the whole world. But you guys, Ayan does say that she and Lisa haven't really talked that much as they used to. So interesting. Even like when they were all going back to sit on some chairs to watch the game, Ayan sat with Stanberry in the same seat. And Brooke said something to the effect of, Lisa, someone's stealing your best friend, babe. Then to end it, Brooks ranks the outfits. So it was definitely a fun event. They all had fun. Then the last scene of the episode is Sergio taking Stanberry on a surprise, a yacht, and a cake that was a replica of their new home. He really went all out, and they even showed some footage of earlier that day, which was the morning of her birthday. He really went all out for her. Stanberry tells him that she's very happy right now, and then the baby conversation comes back up. Sergio feels like he won't have a role in his life if he doesn't have a child, and I totally get that. So Stanberry... She doesn't really want to have a baby. So she asks him, you know, point blank period, like, is it a deal breaker or not? And his response is, I want a baby. I really want a baby. So now Caroline Stanbury is like, okay, with that answer, like, this is for real. He really does want this. So I'm going to have to act on this and come up with a decision. So that was the end of the episode, you guys. Let me know what your thoughts were about this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. You have a great one. Bye.